Hey there stampers and crafters and welcome to our online class where today we are going to be playing with the May Paper Pumpkin Kit from Stampin' Up! and this one is called A Kit in Colors and it's a little pun because it includes some of our brand new in colors coming out in the new catalog which launches on June 3rd. It's not even out yet, right? So we're going to be playing with some brand new stuff here. So I'm really excited about that and stay tuned. Not only going to show you what's in this kit, what the kit makes, but we're also going to make an alternate project at the end of this, a pot of gold card that I think you guys are absolutely going to love. So adorable. Uh, before we get started, and while I know some of you are probably still finding me because we had a little glitch there and Facebook kicked me off before we could get started. So we're doing a little restart. Just to let you know that there is a prize patrol as always. This kit that we're playing with today is sold out. However, you have a chance to win one of two. Uh, simply by leaving a comment here on this video. All you need to do is leave a comment. <laughs> and if you share this broadcast, I'll enter you a second time into the replay drawing. I'll draw one winner live at the end and one winner um, on June 2nd. And if you were not lucky enough to get in because this sold out before even the deadline came, this sold out before even May. I think it sold out back in April because we do order this stuff ahead of time. I do have a couple of these for sale on the resource page of this video. Just click on the link in this video's description or go to stampwithtammy.com. But hurry, because there's only a couple and I don't, but I haven't checked since I got started putting this together for the video. So it could be, uh, they could already be sold out. Um, coming up next in June, our June kit is a box of sunshine, which is totally timely because this is a, with everything happening right now with people under stay at home advisories and quarantine, and all the different things happening with COVID, people have started sending out these boxes of sunshine. It's a bright yellow box filled with goodies that you give to your friends, to the people who are having a hard time, that are shut in, that can't get out. Just something to put a little smile on somebody's face. And so this came out in a perfect time. It is designed by our CEO, Sarah Douglas. You can um, get this in June by subscribing by June 10th. However, no, just because last month sold out early, this one could too. We do pre-order these ahead of time. They're pre-made ahead of time. So there is a certain number. And once we reach that number, Stampin' Up! shuts it off and we, we won't be able to order more. So if you love this idea, make sure you go stampatamy.com, click on Paper Pumpkin or click on the resource page and subscribe. You can always put it on pause or cancel after. It's very flexible um, if you just want to get the one kit. But don't wait too long if you love this idea because... Like I said, if it ends up like last month, it could sell out fast. Okay, and in addition to that, uh, we are talking about new catalog stuff, which means we have an, a catalog that's just about to retire. And that means that we have products that are retiring. There's a retiring list and some of that's on sale. We have outgoing in colors, you know, five colors rotate every, every year. New colors come in, new colors go. And as we're playing with new stuff today, we've been talking about the ones that are going since February. I've been trying to, you know, get everybody to budget that quickly so that when they sold out in back, you know, when that retirement list got uh, announced, nobody was left without the colors that they wanted or the ink pads or the refills because they are selling out. But there is some great products still available from the retiring list. Uh, whatever hasn't sold out by June 2nd will be gone forever. So it's less than two weeks. So just, uh, you might want to give that a double check. Make sure you haven't missed out on anything, you know, missed anything that you really wanted to get on that. And that means new catalog is coming. Yay, we are so excited about this. As demonstrators, we were able to pre-order. Um, if you're interested in saving some money, you can get the demonstrator kit and you can actually get pre-order stuff in it, which is really cool. You can get information on my stampwithtammy.com blog there or by contacting me. If you are a customer of mine, if you're in my VIP club or have purchased from me this year, your catalog is in the mail. <laughs> and uh, Stampin' Up! mails these out. They mail bulk mail. I haven't heard that anybody got theirs yet. So if you got yours, yell, woohoo, yay. Um, but it could take a little, it could, it could be another week before they get there. So fingers crossed you all get yours soon. If you are not a customer of mine but would like a catalog, uh, simply go to my blog, stampatami.com, and click on the link that says Stampin' Up! Catalogs. You can fill out the form there to get one. A couple other things. I've got a couple of kits, a couple of kits that I put together. Uh, one is the Butterfly Fun Fold Kit. I released this earlier in the month, and after the deadline, I, I got so many notes from people who missed out that really wanted it that I decided to rerun it. It, it just was so popular. It's such a beautiful 
the colors, the butterflies, the beauty of bound stamp set, the beautiful butterfly die, fun folds. I mean, how can you go wrong with butterflies and fun folds, right? Uh, however, the deadline for the second release is tomorrow. So May 21st. If you love this idea, you can get more information on my blog or click on the resource page. All the information for everything I'm talking about is on the resource page. It's linked in the video's description. And the other kit is, but I'm bump. New in colors, yay! Actually, these are bundles. I have two different sizes to fit your budget. I've got the snack size and the full size. So the full size comes with full size everything, snack size, some of the things are downsized, so you get a little sampling of everything, but it fits your budget. And I wanna show you some of these things. The, both of my bundles come with a free class, and they also come with um, a free card pack. It is the uh, Flowers for Every Season card pack. This is the, the card pack. This one is unopened, but I have one that is open. I'll show you a couple of the, these are just some of the designs that, oops, not the post note pad. <laughs> Sorry, that snuck its way in there. It was the same colors, wasn't it? Anyways, these are just a few of them. I, there's sticker things in here. I've, I've kind of used a lot of these already because I loved it. So what I've got down here is just a few of the things, some of the new, new in colors here, and a few of the items that are in my bundles. I've, I've got almost everything in the bundles. Um, this is the, it's called a flowers, flowers for every season. This is the memories and more cards and envelopes. And we love when the printed envelopes match, right? So these are card bases and I use these in the class. I use these and combine them with the card pack to make the cards. And then there's cardstock, there's ribbon ink pads as well. The ink pads we weren't able to get our hands on early, but they are included in the bundle. We've got embellishments and all kinds of fun stuff. So I have a couple of the quick cards for the free class um, that I made here just to show you really quickly. Get it, quick cards, but I'm pun intended. They're really fun. They're quick to put together and you'll have all the supplies to make these if you purchase any of my bundles. So you'll get that free. So that is the kits. You can get more information on that on my stampwithtammy.com blog. And pop back over here. Uh, and also, <laughs> here's the names of the new in colors, just in case you have not seen these yet, because they're beautiful. They're fun. I'm excited about them. I'm excited about the new catalog. So I mean, I'm always sad to see the old things go, but I'm excited for new things too. And with that, it is time to get started with Paper Pumpkin. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to play with this kit today. I'm going to um, open up the kit and share uh, share everything that's in it so you can see it kind of live and in person. You get an idea of what's coming, and what you would expect in a Paper Pumpkin kit, and uh, what this one had in it, and what you might win. Or if you were lucky enough to get one, get one of the couple I had on my blog, what you, know, what you can expect. Uh, and then at the end, I am going to make an alternate card. So I do this every month. I do uh, an opening of the box, a reveal. We make what's in the kit. And then um, I, I do two videos and I'll do a separate um, alternate card video. So here's the box. It was a fun box. A lot of times they're orange, but whenever we have a fun box, I, I don't know. I just, I always get excited about them. And this one was just so bright and cheery and it was super fun to get in the mailbox. So the first thing that we get in the box is instructions. This makes 12 cards. Each one is different. It, it makes different things. Um, but this one makes 12 cards. There's three designs and it will make four of each. And it has matching envelopes. Yay! So it talks here a little bit about um, what, what's in our kit. And then on the inside here are instructions. And you can start your bets now on which step I am going to go rogue on with these instructions. But I'm gonna, you're not going to need these because I'm going to show you what to do. And I'm going to I'm going to make the mistakes for you so you don't have to make them. <laughs> All right. So these are the colors. Let me bounce back over here. These are the colors that this uh, paper pumpkin kit has in it. So there's four of the new ink colors. And then we've got uh, purple posy, which is an ink color from last year, still around and uh, pumpkin pie. Purple Posy doesn't get all the love that it deserves because we don't have an, a Purple Posy ink pad, but it is still a beautiful color and we still love it. And it goes really nicely with this paper pumpkin kit. So this is the stamp set. It's a fun one. This is a super fun one. I'm gonna like playing with the rainbows in it too. And so uh, this, you're amazing. Hey, hey. <laughs> That's a saying I, I do a lot. Uh, oh, happy day. And then there's some cute little um, 
decorations on there. And this is so cool. Okay, so this is the very first ink pad that we get, right? Because as demonstrators, we can pre-order, but this time we weren't able to get the, the ink pads early. So this is my first ink color ink pad right here, the Misty Mountain, the Misty Moonlight. Um, so that is the, the grand reveal ink pad. Um, even though my bundles will have them in it, I, I don't have them early to share with you. But they will come in all the colors. All right, so here we go. Here is what is in this kit. So in addition to the stamp set and the Misty Moonlight ink pad, we have got the card bases. So there, there's, this has 12 card bases. There's three different designs here. They're pre-printed for us, and um, there's four of each. And then there are 12 matching envelopes. We love that, right, that they're pre-printed. I always love when they match. Then there are die cuts. So we've got different, different kinds of die cuts in here. We've got vellum, we've got regular. So let's start with, these are the regular die cuts. I've already got one punched out and ready for us. We may as well punch out while we're going here. So there's uh, enough, again, to make three of each. I mean, sorry, four of each. So there's four of each sheet here. And we've got a little taggy here. We'll take that too. And then we've got these guys over here. These are, um, we've got clouds. We've got a banner. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and, and pop those out so you guys can see them, one, so you can see what we got, and two, so that they're ready for us when we start our stamping. There we go. And then we've got some vellum sheets in here. It is very pretty, isn't it? And then we've got vellum tag cutouts here for one of the cards. Whoops, I ripped it. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. Be gentle with your vellum. So we'll punch that out. And um, I, I know you're probably distracted by this sitting right there, right? How pretty is that? These are fun little, uh, they're, they're adhesive stick-ons. They're, they're like enamel stick-ons. Let's see what they're called. They are called puppy stickers. Puppies. And we've got pretty Baker's Twine. And Baker's Twine is in Magenta Madness. How about that? All right, so that's what's in our kit. Oh, and adhesive. Can't forget the adhesive, which I always somehow do. So we've got mini glue dots right here, although I'm gonna use the glue dots that I have on the side. And we've got dimensionals. All right, so what I'm gonna do is uh, start going here. And, uh, <laughs> well, See what step that I can get to before I start going rogue, because sometimes that just happens. All right, so the first step says stamp the sentiments on the die cut labels. So I'm just going to pull out. I'm going to just just going to do one of each, so I can save some for alternate projects. Plus, we're going to be making an alternate project today, so I've got one of each folder, and then we've got one of each printed base. And I've already lost where I put some of this stuff. Oh, there it is. Vellum. One of those. Okay. So we want to stamp our sentiments. I'm just going to, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and fold these. I know that didn't say so on step one, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. Put those to the side and these to the side. Stamping our sentiments. We've got hay goes on the big cloud. Amazing goes on this little tag. And oh, happy day is going on this little tag. So if you are brand new to Paper Pumpkin, if this is your first Paper Pumpkin kit, you're going to get a block, an acrylic block that comes with this so that you can put, mount your stamps on it. Um, if this is not your first, uh, you only get it with the first one, but you can purchase more in my online store. 
And so with the one block, you can just keep take these off and, and put new ones on. But since I happen to have some blocks here, I'm just going to go ahead and put each one on a block and get them all lined up and ready to go. So we've got our Misty Moonlight. This is the first time I'm using it. Oh, come on. You know, there we go. So, hey. I love that saying. Hey. So I'm going to stamp that on the cloud. And we've got, oh, happy day. And that goes on this tag over here. And you're amazing. I feel that way about all of you. You're amazing. And I appreciate you taking some time today to stamp with me. Okay. Next up, step two, because that was step one. It says, uh, adhere printed die cuts largest and smallest clouds in vellum pieces to the cards using adhesive dots. Okay, so we'll start with this one. And let's see, this one is the rainbow card. So we've got rainbow, and it says to put this one down flat using the mini, mini glue dots. I'm just going to go ahead and use this now because I'm cheating. It's so, now there. And let's see, does it, it says, let's make them in pieces. Okay, so I think the words are going to go on second with dimensionals. So this one has the big vellum, a little tip on vellum here. And that is that um, if you put adhesive on it, it shows through the adhesive because it's translucent, you can see through it and you can't see the adhesive. So put it in the center because we're gonna be covering the center and no one will see that. The other thing I tell people is, because we've got a busy print down here, you may not notice it either. If you have, you know, like a printer or anything that's going on top of it, you can put it behind that or kind of hide it within the print so that people don't notice it. Okay, so the clouds, it says to attach them, but I really don't wanna attach them before I attach the big one because I want them to line up, right? So. And if you don't have uh, snail teas or liquid glue, uh, use the mini glue dots or use the mini glue dots on the kit anyway. All right. So let's see, we put that one there. This is going to go here. I'm not putting it down yet because it didn't say to. I'm trying to follow directions. There we go. I just want to line up the other clouds. Okay. And then for the purple, we're going to put this panel down. I love how they used all of the ink colors in this. Sometimes the ink colors, I mean, they're not always made to go together. They're made to complement other colors or, you know, they're they're trendy, they're what's happening, but they're not always made to, to, to be stamped together. But I love how you could use almost all of them in this kit. And it was just such a bright, cheery card, bright, cheery um, collection of cards. Okay, so we've got some vellum there. All right, and then the next step is we're going to adhere the label. Oh, I'm sorry. This one was supposed to go down with dimensionals too. Well, it's staying down with snail because that's what I used. So we're going to adhere these guys with dimensionals. My dimensional pack is kind of falling apart on me. Not that it matters, as long as the dimensionals stick, that's all that matters. If you are jumping in late, stay tuned to the end. I am going to be doing an alternate project with this kit right after this. <laughs> On the same video, I'm not gonna jump off. I just, um, I have a really, really cute card that I saw Rachel Tessman make and I was like oh my god she's such a she's so talented and she comes up with the cutest things and I just was so inspired 
I was like, oh, I got to share her card with you guys because it's so cute. And those of you who thought, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a bright person. I'm not sure about this one. Once you see that alternate card, you're going to be like, oh, my God, I need it now. <laughs> Happens all the time. <laughs> okay, hey. Hey is going to go right in the middle there. Hey. We've got You're Amazing, and these are all going to pop up because they are uh, with dimensionals on the back already. And we've got Oh, Happy Day. All right, and then it says tie bow. So we're going to take this baker's twine, and it says we want 14 inches. And then I saw there was an update somewhere that we didn't need quite 14 inches, that you can get away with a little bit shorter than that. I'm going to go with nine. We'll see if that works. So I'm going to cut three pieces. And in this instruction booklet, there's a ruler, so you don't have to go looking for one. They think of everything. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh my gosh, we didn't even need nine inches. My gosh, we could have got away with a lot less than that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and tie a bow. There's one. Each one, each one has a bow, so we're going to tie three bows. I'm doing the um, bunny loop method <laughs> of tying bows, and any kindergarten teachers out there are probably shaking their head at me. <laughs> yeah, it works, right? <laughs> I can't do new math either. I got to do it the old-fashioned way. All right, I'm taking, I'm cheating, and taking my own mini glue dots. I like them better than the ones that come in the kit. Okay, so I'm just going to stick these guys down with mini glue dots. This one goes here. And I do stick the uh, bow right to the mini glue dots um, if you're using the roll because that way I, it eliminates the... I'm going to stick it to your finger first. To say it eliminates the middle instead of the middleman, it eliminates the middle finger. <laughs> I know, getting silly. All right, the last look at how easy those were. The last uh, step here is uh, to put the fun stuff on. Oh, yay. Okay, so I'm going to use my take your pick tool for this because this guy, if you're working with these little things, I think I'm going to use the pointy end just because they're funky shapes. Let me just lift those up and they're already sticky, so they just go right down. Look at they've got purple posy. I'm glad purple posy's getting some love. I do love this color. I feel like it, it gets shamed. <laughs> it gets color shamed because of its sad story with the ink pad and not being available. It doesn't make it any less of a color though. We've got some misty moonlight. Just Jade. Oops, I'm green. I want to make sure I'm looking. Sorry, my, my camera fell a couple of, like last month, and uh, I don't have anyone to help me put it back up again, so I kind of have it rigged right now, but I have to lean really far over to uh, make sure that I don't go out of frame. So I apologize if I'm going out of frame. Somebody yelled at me last week that I was working down here in this space. I'm still on the screen at least, but um, <laughs> I felt bad. I'm like, I'm standing on my tiptoes and doing the best I can. Sometimes I'm just not paying attention, so I apologize for that. And I do hope I get that fixed soon, so I won't inconvenience you guys. Alrighty, so our cards, as they are um, in the kit, are complete. And we've got matching envelopes, each one. So we've got a little pink printed envelope for this one. We've got, well, purple posy can go with either one of these, I guess. It can go this way. I think I'd rather put it with that one. Your call. And then we've got pumpkin pie. Goes right in there. And those are the three cards. And the kit makes four of each of those. And as promised, I am going to do an alternate project. Um, so, oops, sorry. <laughs> Hit the wrong button. Sometimes I forget where I am. 
Um, this is the kit. If you um, have this kit and you are storing your, uh, or would like to store your paper pumpkin stamp sets, I have um, these awesome uh, inserts that go inside our stamp cases. So you can store it on the shelf right with the, the rest of your stamps. And you can download that free. Simply just go on the resource page here or go to my stampwithtammy.com blog and click on paper pumpkin. And there'll be a link there to download stamp cases. And you can download them for the past year and a half, I think. I have them up there. And you can also purchase the, the stamp cases there. And um, all right, so. Oh my gosh, I forgot what I had coming up next. We're going to make another card. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make another card. If anybody jumped on here late, um, we are going to be playing with new stuff. We have uh, been playing with new ink colors. Let me, just, let me just show you some good stuff here. We've been playing with new ink colors, and we are going to play with some more new stuff on this alternate card that I'm going to make. And I haven't made yet, so you're going to make it with me <laughs> when I go rogue, you know. Sometimes it's just for fun. Okay, and also I have a paper pumpkin, um, I'm sorry, I have an ink color bundles for sale. There for order for pre-order. Um, the pre-order due date is June 1st. You can order yours on my stampwithtammy.com blog. Uh, you can back up if you came in late and check out some of the cards that you get. You'll get a free card class. You'll get a free card pack. And then you're going to get all the stuff that comes in the new ink colors, or almost all of it. I've got it all listed out there, and it comes in two different sizes based on your budget. All right. Let's make some stuff. So. First thing I'm going to do, and, and I, I have to give a shout out, this um, idea came from Rachel Tessman, and I saw her make this, and she just comes up with the cutest things. I was like, oh my gosh, we have to do this. So I'm using the new stamp set coming out in the new catalog, and it is called Many Mates. So I'm going to use words from that. And uh, I think I'm, I'm going to use celebrate today. So I'm just going to pull that out. And then I'm going to take one of the tags, like this one. And we're going to make this, uh, I want it to be black. So I'm going to take some memento ink. And oh, I just threw my phone on the ground. That wasn't very nice. Somewhere around here. Oh, good. You know what? The next thing I was looking for happened to be thrown on the ground, too. So forgive me. It looks like I had thrown my little spongy on the ground, too. So sorry about that. Let's see if I can get this set up so that I can get my comments from you guys. Ah, I lost the comments. Oh, sorry, you guys. I am so sorry. <laughs> I lost the comments, and you guys are probably saying, oh, my gosh, <laughs> you haven't changed the camera angle. <laughs> but I couldn't read it because I didn't have the comments. Oh, somebody came in late, and they're asking about their catalogs. I've mailed them out. And, st and the ones that, oh, if you're a customer of mine, they're in the mail, or Stampin' Up! has put them in the mail. Um, I did I did go over that in the beginning, but I know not all of you are able to jump on uh, right away. So, anywho, they're coming. They should be there. I mean, I don't know exactly. The mail's kind of unreliable right now. I mean, not. it's not that it's unreliable. It's just not always as quick as it used to be. Things are just all a little hard. Okay. All right. So I have got here, this is um, a sponge brayer and a Memento black ink pad. Let me back up just a little bit. And I've got that little tag. And I'm just going to ink up here, this little sponge brayer. And we're just going to ink up this little taggy. So it makes it black, but it almost looks like it's got a little bit of texture to it. And you can go as light or as dark with this as you would like. After you see the finished card, you can, you know, use your own judgment on, on how you feel about that. Actually, before I put this on here, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my greeting, and I'm going to use um, one of the clouds for that little cloud. Let's 
celebrate and that is from many mates all righty so next up uh we're gonna cut down some of the um actually one of the cards that's in here get this out of the way and so i'm just gonna bring the paper trimmer in real quick i'm using the grape i mean the green printed one for this one and i am cutting that down to three and three quarters by five i will get the measurements and all of these details on um up on my blog right after this give me about an hour i'll, I'll get them all up there now i'm going to take the other half of this that's already pre-printed in the just jade and i'm going to make that four inches by five and a quarter so it's a quarter of an inch larger than our base layer and that makes it a frame yay no waste all right so next up we are going to um I'm going to leave this up because I'm going to cut down the rainbow a little bit too. I want that to fit. So this rainbow, it, this is the how it comes pre-printed. And I'm just going to cut off the top. And actually, I want this to go, whoops, sorry, that wasn't quite three inches. I want this to be three inches. When I cut out, after I cut off the top and bottom, I want it to be about three inches. And and there I had a layer for that one too. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So put that aside. And now we're gonna do some assembly. Actually, no. Sorry. One more thing. One more thing. I got some gold foil here, and I've got the one and a half inch circle punch. This circle punch is retiring, sadly. I know. What are we going to do without all these circles? Just one more thing you don't want to miss on that retiring list. I'm going to punch out a bunch of circles. I'm not sure exactly how many yet because, like I said, I haven't done this yet. I haven't actually made it. I just watched it. I'll we'll just keep going to our heart's delight because who doesn't want a bunch of coins, right? You know what I'm saying? So we've got, we can always punch more if we need to, but we've got our circles out. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is put our base all together. I have got a Whisper White card base because I feel like I get more out of things when I use Whisper White below as the card base. And I'm gonna take some snail and attach the printed piece to its frame that we just created and then we'll take some Stampin' Dimensionals and pop that up. Wendy, you're not getting notifications? Tell Facebook. What are they thinking? Don't they know this is craft time? I'm going to be honest with you, girlfriend. I don't think I'm getting them for a lot of my regular things either. The things that I watch. I don't get what's going on with that. I don't know. I, I feel like everything's a little wonky in the world right now. Okay. So that's uh, down on our card base here. And then I wanted a little layer for our rainbow. So I took some snail and attached that to a frame. Again, I'll put these dimensional. I mean, I'll put the dimensions up for what I'm doing on the, on the blog and I'll let you know when they're up there. I'll get you a little uh, PDF for this too. And then we'll put some dimensions on the back of that. Yeah, you know what? So it is so much easier um, to pull out a punch than the dies. I agree with you there, but I know a lot of people feel the opposite way. A lot of people would rather have dies than punches. And it goes both ways. You know what? I want to put some vellum on here too. Why not? Because we can. Again, putting that adhesive in the middle of the vellum so it doesn't show. Boom. And then boom. All right. Now, this is the super cute part. Okay, so trying to think the best way to do this is let's attach them I'm going to attach a few of them right to this I'm going to take some of those glue dots and I'm going to stick them right to the front 
You see where this is going? <laughs> oh my gosh, isn't it super cute? Oops, that one was missing a glue dot. Actually, you know what? We can do this too. Instead of glue dots, this will actually work quicker. Let's put some adhesive right on the back of that. Right up against the edge. Because then we can go ahead and stick a bunch of bunch of these right in there. You see it? Do you see where it's going? And then maybe I'll just keep going with that piece up here. I am using the silicone mat below, by the way, that keeps the adhesive from going on your table. Get it? All right. So a couple of stamped dimensionals on the back of that. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh, it's so freaking adorable. I can't stand it. It's so cute, right? Ba boom. And then maybe even um maybe even a couple more because we want whoever finds this pot of gold to really be rich. Let me stick a couple more down there. Just because I had some left over. Okay, and the last piece here is our cloud. And we will go ahead and stick that on with some Stampin' Dimensionals and what do you think, right there? Oh wait, we can't end there. Oh no, we need some goodies. What about these? Yeah? Should we put some of these on there or should we use some of the regular, I mean the new enamel, um, the new dots, the new in color dots. Let's use these because I don't know where I put the in color dots. I guess I packet them away after I share them with you guys. All right, so a little magenta. Oh, I love it. I love it. A little green down here. So cute. Stop it. And I don't know. I feel like we need to go odds. There need to be a, there has to be an odd number. So that up there. And now, now it's complete. So cute, right? Pot of gold out of the uh, May 2020 paper pumpkin. Just another extra little piece there that is super fun. And we are using the new ink colors um here on on everything that we did today and just another note uh, i do have in color bundles um, available on my blog they are for pre-order and the pre-order date ends on june 2nd all right i will be off on friday so i will see you guys back next week i hope everybody has a wonderful holiday weekend and uh, we'll be back next week thanks for joining me today